everyone, my name is Mikey and today we are going to be talking about a 97 Honda Civic that I have. I've had this thing for about 12, 11 years, ever since high school. And this is her, the 97 Honda Civic. It's an EX model, two-door coupe, manual. Okay, it's running a D16Y8, that's the motor, D16Y8. Single overhead cam, VTEC, okay? If you're having issues with idling or stalling at a stoplight, say you're sitting at a stoplight or a stop sign, okay? And you see your RPM gauge go all the way down to those one to two bars, okay? It could be multiple things. First thing I thought, it was a spark, spark plug, okay? I checked my spark plug, checked the gap, checked the distributor, checked the nose, checked the point. It wasn't spark, okay? It wasn't spark at all. But that's one way to start, okay? Check your spark. See if that's a fault. If not, move on to something else. Check your air. So, your air intake manifold, which is right here, big piece right here, okay? Check and see if you have any vacuum leaks. If you have vacuum leaks, take it into the shop, see where it is, okay? If not, you have a mass air sensor, an eye layer control valve, and a throttle position sensor. I replaced the throttle body on this with the two sensors, the mass air and the throttle body sensor, and it didn't solve that issue. The issue is that it wants to die when I'm at a stop sign or stoplight because my RPM went down to those one to two bars. So I changed that out and it didn't help, okay? So next thing I thought, my fuel pressure regulator hose was too big. I swapped that out, get a smaller hose. I got a 5 16th hose for fuel injection systems down at Nampa Auto Parts. I put that in, braided as well with a wiring loom and two fasteners to tighten it down. That's this wire right here. Right here. It runs all the way to my fuel pressure regulator. Okay. So I did that next. Did you check the fuel? That didn't help. Okay. The fuel did not help. I did a fuel filter as well. I did a fuel pump. It didn't help that situation. So my next thing that I wanted to test was if the timing was off or if the throttle position was off. So I went to my throttle cable, which is right here. This is your throttle cable. You got one nut here and one nut in the back. I adjusted this back nut to where she'd be sitting pretty on idle and where this one to tighten it up so that way it wouldn't move. That way that cable is causing tension on it and they're pulling it just a little bit to keep it open and keep it a steady idle. That she doesn't jump around and jar around because if it was, it'd be, it was bad. It was like bleh, bleh, bleh. And you will notice a lack of power if this does happen, okay? Also, I've been noticing and hearing comments about fuel injectors. Um, I'm running my stock 97 fuel injectors in this car. Everything is fine. I tighten down the fuel rail, it's fine as well. If there is a bad injector, you will hear it missing. You will hear that missing sound on that cylinder, okay? This car is very loud. I have a MagnaFlow exhaust out the back, Mugen Racing headers, and a Mugen catalytic converter. So this car is very loud, but I like it that way. I like loud cars. See, you can headers, you can race. And I have been noticing on these 97 Honda Civics, these parts, I called, uh, called a Honda dealership near me and I asked him I need an ECU just in case and just rule that out, it's bad ECU or something. They discontinued that item. I called about an under the hood wiring harness, they discontinued that item too. So chances are this car is gonna be junkyard parts, okay? They're not gonna make them new anymore. Good luck, eBay, online, you name it, get it done. Um, I rebuilt this motor, I actually put a block guard in it to save the block from those pistons in case they do decide to lift or rock or slap each other. But I did that, I did ARP head bolts. I recommend every time at 60,000 miles, you rebuild your motor for 97 Honda Civic. Use different head bolts please last time a friend had one as well he didn't replace his head bolts two of them decided to lift and his whole head came off of his car and it went right through the hood so i highly recommend you change those out um the other thing if you need any diagrams or wiring information or technical information about something going wrong with your honda let me know in the comments below i will surely take a look at them and i'll see what she's doing for you and i'll help you out and get her sorted all right, if you guys want to hear this car, I'll give you a little preview real quick of how loud the thing really is. And even when I give it some gas, it's going to idle back down to where it was before. 
no issues. Not even jumping. Just sitting pretty. This is the way it should be. Um, one thing I didn't notice about these manual cars, these manual Honda Civics, is corrosion on your spark, on your rotor, on your plugs, on your wires. Check for corrosion, because that may be a case as well. Because I did corrosion on my distributed rotor, I thought it was corrosion, and it was corrosion. It was my throttle position was off, just a little bit. So let me know in the comments below. Once again, this is Mikey with your car tech tips. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.